everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. This video has been pending for a while now. If you watched the part one of the garden transformation, then you will know what is coming in this video. So this video is part two and it is the new garden bar being built. Um, so yeah, I really hope you like this video and enjoy watching. <laughs> So a little update for you on the bar. Since my dad actually started building, we've had quite a lot of heavy rain showers on and off. So until we get the shingles on the roof, he just kind of bought this plastic cover just to put over, just to protect the ply um, until we can get a day where it's gonna be dry all day to get them on. Um, so once they're on, we're about to take all this plastic sheeting down because it will be waterproof then. Um, but for the time being, it's just on there until we get the shingles on. And then today inside, my dad actually has managed to get quite a lot of it done. He has built the frame of the bar and he's built them on the grey bricks here, which match the edging of the patio. And he has done this. So if any rain does come into the bar, onto the patio, it means that the wood is kind of raised off of it. So it's not gonna affect that and cause the wood obviously to rot or anything like that. And then this is just plywood. Again, on top is just plywood. And eventually it will have paneling on the front. It will have some decorative edging kind of on here to make the bar top and then tiles will be led along the top so it will look kind of really nice when it's all done and it kind of all comes together but it is really nice just kind of seeing it as it is now you can kind of get the feel now that it is going to be a bar and then as you come around here and you walk in you can see we've just kind of got the frame Again, these bits are on bricks to kind of keep them off the floor to prevent any wood being kind of on the floor in any water if anything does come in. And then eventually we're gonna have some kind of shelving in here. So there's some storage. And then on this side, we have now got the wine fridge and kind of beer fridge in. Um, so yeah, that looks really good again obviously it's raised off the floor to prevent it being kind of chance of being on any water and then we'll have some more storage here and here and then obviously again my dad will cut some ply to go along the top here and then again it will be finished with the decorative kind of um edging on the side and then the tiles led on the top and then on this back wall 
we will have some kind of shelving maybe some optics and obviously the tv will be around this area somewhere so yeah it's definitely coming together now hopefully we will get some nice full um days of sun so my dad can get the shingles on the roof and then we can take all this kind of down but yeah it's definitely coming together and i can't wait to see it when the kind of tiles are on here and the paneling i think it's going to look really really nice and then up here my dad was saying he might put some wood along and drill some little holes and put some lights little the little kind of down lights in it so i think that will look really pretty too but yeah it's definitely coming along so we're going to have bar stools along this side this side and there will be one on the end then obviously the tv on this wall but it will be able to pull out because eventually when it does finally arrive we will have the corner um sofa set and table here but yeah this summer everything is kind of being delayed so that is currently stuck in transit so hopefully it will get here by the time that this is finished and then yeah i think it's going to look really nice and obviously this will be an open side obviously when this is down when the shingles go on the roof So the roof is now finished and I think it looks amazing. It's just what we wanted. Um, and inside we now have the TV on the wall and my dad is just adding some wood paneling along the back for some extra detail. Also the speakers are in, they just need attaching in their place properly. The paneling on the back wall is coming along nicely. And now my dad is adding the edging onto the bar top so that the tiles can be laid in the middle. So just another quick update. This is how the bar is looking at the moment. It's coming along really, really nicely. Um, as you can see, the panel at the back is nearly done. These ones are just drying um, a little bit still. They've got some no more nails behind them um, and they are screwed on either side and then it just got a few more to go up here and then on this bit over here my dad is going to continue this edging around and then make this a panel hi leo a panel look like this so it all kind of matches in as it goes around to the end he's also put a coat of paint around the edging of the bar top and he has started to um, put the tiles in on this middle bit obviously they just need um, grouting but yeah I really really love these I think they look really really nice um, and yeah it's all coming together I'm loving the kind of dark grey um, with the light grey they're kind of a contrast and then obviously in here this roof still needs um, painting um, the dark grey but once that's done that'd be really nice and actually now they're thinking of putting a um, ceiling fan in there because obviously on the kind of hot summery days it does get quite warm being under the roof so we thought that'd be a really nice feature also just quickly before I showed this fridge and I said we were going to have storage either side um, my parents have now actually purchased another fridge um, so we've got two drinks fridges and then this is a freezer so obviously we can store um, ice and ice lollies and that out here and obviously this still needs some kind of edging and um, pieces put in just to finish it off um, a bit nicer but yeah it's all coming together really nicely and yeah I just love the colour of it I love the darkness of the dark grey but yeah we are definitely getting there so my parents have made these kind of PVC covers that can hang on these rails along the top so on a wet day they can just be hung up to stop obviously the rain coming in they just need cutting and fixing at the bottom 
but then obviously the rest of the time that easy they can just unhook them and roll them up around the rocks. As you can see the bar is coming together now just need to finish doing these so these are just some pvc on rods and um, they just need cutting and fixing at the bottom um, but they are removable so we've got enough to go all the way around so if it's a rainy day you can actually sit inside um, or if it's windy you can block off the two sides like this but yeah so they need finishing but i thought i would just give you an update of the rest so we've got the bar stalls out now and the tiles are finished got our beer mats out they're still um, finishing to do over here and need a few more of the wood um, panels up there and the edges and things like that but yeah it's definitely coming along now and obviously we still need to finish painting the roof um, and get lights and ceiling fans in there Lights in the roof, don't know how well you can see them because obviously it is daylight at the moment. Um, my dad has now finished the panelling along the back and we have this blue neon bar sign. Um, again, obviously because it is daylight, you can't see it as well. I will try to get a video of these in the evening. We have our beer mats out. Um, we just bought this ice bucket that we need to set up. We've got our chairs out. At the moment, we do have the PVC on because it has been wet. It's actually nice and sunny at the moment, but it has been raining all morning just to keep it all nice and dry and protected in here. But yeah, it's looking really, really good. day has come when I can finally show you the finished transformation um, of the garden. The garden sofa set arrived yesterday so we built that up so everything is now in except from a few finishing touches um, like some things to go on the table just to dress it a little bit but yeah the main kind of things are in place and it looks so nice really nice I'm so happy with it uh, my parents are really pleased with it. I think they've done an amazing job. So yeah, I'll show you a quick tour around the garden. Okay guys, so I'll start over here. You saw this earlier in the video. Obviously we don't have the cushions out on the sun lounges at the moment, um, but you would have seen them previously in the video. Um, so this is this area. Obviously we have the two blinds in at the moment. This is the final look over here. I think it looks amazing. Um, there is a few things we need to do, so they, my mum wants to get something to put on the table. Um, but yeah, that's just a few little last finishing touches. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and obviously finish this video, because I know a few of you have been waiting to see it. So yeah, this is the finished garden bar. I think it looks amazing. I love the colours. Um, but yeah, it just looks so cool. Obviously, I did say about the PVC kind of blinds that we have, so obviously, um, shelter it if it is raining um, or really windy so you can still sit in there so um, obviously at the moment we've just tied them up so we've just rolled them up and tied them and then obviously if it does rain or we are expecting bad weather we can just untie them and they just come down um, and velcro round onto each other to keep everything inside nice or if you do want to sit in there in the evening um, it just keeps you a bit warmer but yeah so we've got our stalls 
um, we've got our beer mats out, we've got our sign. This is flashing at the moment, but it does go um, solid, obviously our TV. And then in the roof, you would have seen the blue lights. But yeah, then over here, we've now got the two lanterns on the floor and our garden sofa set is finally here. It feels like we've been waiting ages for this. Um, we were tracking it and it was basically stuck on a shipping container for months. But yeah, it's finally in and it looks so nice. I think it finishes this area off really lovely. But yeah, like I said, we just want to get some things to kind of pop on the table, maybe a nice plant or a nice candle. But it just looks so nice. We're so happy with it. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would just give you the final update of the garden transformation. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I really hope you did enjoy watching it. And if you did watch the first part and you've been waiting for this part, then I'm sorry it's taken so long, but I hope you have enjoyed watching. And yeah, I will see you again in another video. Bye.